So, uh, my uh, old snow blower is 50 years old now. So it's a snow flight. It's either a 72 or 73. Had to be the, one of those two years. All it took was draining the gas tank, just pump it out with a kerosene pump, and uh, refill them with uh, new winter gas. Unscrew the spark plug, three drops of gas down it from uh, my uh, mustard bottle there. Screw the spark plug back in, started up and ran the first pull. But then it, uh, you know, got chopping on choke, so I, I shut her down, backed it off a bit, and it stalled. Then it started up on full choke the next pull, so no complaints about that, especially for being 50. Now, that's not the original motor on it. I know it says 67 Briggs. That's what the cover is. I don't know. It's the 70s Briggs engine, anyways, that we modified to go on it. Came with a 7 horse Tecumseh originally. But uh, anyway, she's going to get a chance to blow some snow here because we're going to get a foot. This old lad here doesn't have too many safety features on it, so you gotta use common sense. The augers only stop when it's on when it's on idle because it's got a centrifugal clutch. As soon as you rev her up, things start happening. But then I got then I got the one handle here, the one clutch. That's for forward. It's in neutral right now, that's why it's not moving. But anyway, like I say, as long as you keep your hands and feet away from the business end of it, you're all good to go. So, anyway, might get some uh, video uh, during the snowstorm. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, everybody have a good one.